Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you the best tweaks for your um, iPod Touch 4th Gen. Exactly the one I have. As well as the iPhone 4 or any other device that's running um, iOS 4.1. So yeah, I'm going to move these apps for temporary reasons. Alright, so I'm going to show you all the apps that are compatible with the iOS 4.1 with the recent new Green Poison or Lime Rain Jailbreak. I used the Lime Rain, if anybody was wondering out there. So I'm going to show you all the apps compatible. Um, what technically, yeah, whatever. Let's just get to where we need. Um, one of the first things I would like to point out is that most of the CH Puns apps work, such as like Infinite Board works. So, I'm going to add all of this. So, yeah. Infinite Board works. Uh, whoops. Sorry, I'm using one hand as always. So yeah, Infinite Board works. Um, like always, on the iOS 4.1. Another thing that works is, of course, Infinite Folders. So yeah, we can have as many apps as we can on that. Well, um, the current thing that I'm using for my 5 icon is Iconoclasm. Iconoclasm is compatible with the um, firmware update of 4.1. So, Iconoclasm, if you still want it. I would try to fit a board, but I don't need it for right now. Um, the thing that lets me, like, drag apps in different areas, of course, is called Gridlock. Gridlock is also pretty neat to have instead of having blank icons. So that's something you should also um, look on. So that's Gridlock. So you can have all these neat designs on your little um, home page, especially with the 5x4. You could have a whole rack of designs. If you have 5x5, five five, you could also have a whole rack of stuff. Um, SB settings, as always, will work. Um, PDA networks, yeah. Um, let's go to settings, because I have my winter board hidden. Um, themes, currently, that I'm using... Okay, there's... Okay, so there's no undocked icon labels, iPod Touch for HDR and Y icon labels. I'm a little spectable about the Apple Touch 4 ECR, but so far, for me, it worked. Um, so the no dark things, yeah, and then the wider icons, that's the other two things. But the HDR thing is a little, um, I haven't, well, I guess it kind of works. I haven't really viewed difference. Technically, just take a picture and it'll take an HDR one. So, you can try that out for yourself, even though you can, there's possibly no way to you to actually turn off or on HDR. So, now that we got that covered, let's go back to settings. Another thing that's compatible would be um, the little multi-flow. So, multi-flow is completely compatible with the uh, um, iOS 4.1 update. To give an example, let me open up a couple of apps. Uh, Alright, let's open up calculator. So yeah, I think the max you could have is nine apps at a time, and of course you could also use it hand in hand with the multitasking um thing. Now, um, let's go back to settings. So let's see. So we have action menu also works. If you don't know what action menu is, let me show you right now. It's pretty much things that could let you go, uh, oh, not like that. So you have Apple's design, and then you have a little more extra, so, oops. <laughs> so you could just, like, press the double dots, and you have a lot more stuff to do with your, whatever you did. So, so yeah. I'm um, sorry about that. Another thing that will be working is, um, so, Activator works completely. Side Delete, of course you could delete, I would delete something right now, but I really need all of the stuff I have. Fast Snap, 
Let me show you right now. It's when it's completely compatible. It's where you can use the volume buttons to take a picture instead of typing the screen. So that's pretty handy. So that's another cool thing you could do with the camera. The next thing will be five icon switcher. As you know, five icon switcher lets you have five on the dock. No, five on the multitasking. Next would be Iconoclasm, Infinite Dock, Infinite Folder, you already know that. Lock Info, of course, is fully compatible with the iOS um, 4.1. Um, next thing will be Multi Flow, in which I already showed you. Um, Safari Download Manager, let me show you what you could do with Safari. With Safari, you could have the Safari Download Manager, which will let you have something for you to download whatever you need. Now, another app, which is not in signified in settings, is called Covered. Now, what Covered does is let you have private browsing. So, if, um, say, if you're private browsing, of course, all you have to do is turn it on, and then it will say Exit, and then you can do whatever, and it will not do, be saved in whatever you're using. Next is um that's also not listed in my thing is called um home page in Safari. So all you have to do is open up a new tab and it'll take you to whatever you set your home page to. So I had set mine to Google and it, all you have to do is just press the but plus button and put a set as home page. So that's pretty much it on that. So now let's go back. We have switcher mod. Whoops. I think the final app will be Switcher Mod. Now, Switcher Mod, technically what it does is that you have the red dots and put the little stuff that are in common up. Um, just opening apps. You could remove Recents is also 100% compatible. Now, Switcher Mod just lets you have the little red minus and whatever is running goes all the way to the front. So, yeah, that's that. So, that's all of it for my settings. Like, right here, iFile is completely compatible. I don't know if that one is. Uh, PDA and that make it mine is completely compatible as you can see my name there. Install is and multitasking time. Now what multitasking time pretty much does is technically have the time right up there along with your battery and Wi Fi meter. So that's pretty much it for all of my jailbreaking stuff, I guess. So um so yeah. Oh, and I know some people are gonna ask but, um, so, since I already know some people are going to ask, I might as well do it right now and show you guys how it's, you see the memory thing is done. So, I know some people are going to ask, so let's just go ahead. We open up SB settings and go to more. After that, you go to mobile substrate add-ons. No, sorry, not that. You go to system options and put numeric battery for that and for you know numeric battery for a temporary thing and then you go to um SB settings option and put status bar free mem which will give you the little um how much free memory you have. Now guys now that we have all the jailbreaking the best jailbreaking stuff you can have on your Apple Touch fourth gen along with your iPhone four or whatever thing you jailbroken with um let me show you my top app that I have been playing with the most by far this week. So I really do recommend it. Um, I haven't bought it yet, so these are my installer apps. I'm not gonna. These are like temporary, so I will buy it later on. So so far, I've been playing with is uh, Street Fighter 4. If most of you never didn't know um, what it is, um, I can't play it right now. Sorry for the poor quality, but yeah. Of course, I can't beat this Zangief guy because. I can't do anything with one hand. So yeah, that's Street Fighter 4. Um, so far, one of the best games I've played so far this week. So that's just a little um, extra. So yeah, Street Fighter 4. I could do a review about it later if people ask and stuff like that. So yeah, another thing I would like to have now is that I have my, mo my mom's computer um, out right now. So I'm going to show you this other thing called Synchron City. So technically what Synchron City does is pretty much when you have iTunes on and then 
let's say we want to sync something. Synchron City will say that your iPod's technically syncing right now. So Synchron City just lets you um, sync while you're still, um, how you say, sync while you're still, let you use your iPod while you're still syncing. There you go. So yeah, Synchron City is um, another thing you should also, rec I recommend downloading. So yeah, see it's right there, it's syncing, and I'm still able to use my iPod at normal, normally, I guess. So, yeah. So thanks guys for watching, I hope all this helps you out. Um, I know it's not much that I do, whoops, oh, I do recommend Doodle Jump because that's also an addicting game, so that's another extra. So yeah, all this and more guys, and um, I could do a lot more, please keep watch for next week to see what um, other apps are will be compatible for your 4.1, and see what um, everything you can do with your iPod, make it, use it at your own, the way you want it to use it. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope you like this video. And I'll continue making more. Thanks for watching. See you later.